Joshua speaks about community. There is coming now a time of readiness for the vision which many of you have seen of a community. Many of you have held the desire of communion, of family reunited within your hearts, and it is already manifesting. What you are seeing in many of your gatherings, gatherings where there is support for one another, sharing from the heart, is a community, a communion of the energy and a coming together in joy. That is truly the essence of community. It matters not whether you are physically living in the same geographical location and sharing as you would know the bathroom with each other. What matters is the communion of self from heart to heart, the sharing of oneself freely. But there will be physical locations of communities which you are going to be instrumental in setting up and developing, and the time is coming when it will be appropriate to find physical locations. Each community will be a healing community in the broadest sense of healing, because there will be much joy in it. Much healing will be done through the sharing of the love you are with others. Others will feel the acceptance, the unconditional love as they walk upon the grounds and come within the energy field which you are providing there. It will be charged, and yet the charge for one staying there will be minimal. I wish to share with you now a broad vision of what the communities will be serving. Each community will be a place, as you have envisioned, of great beauty, a place very much in tune with your Holy Mother the Earth, a place in nature with the green of the trees, the green of the fields, and the healing power of flowing water. There will be much peace upon this land. Already there is much peace there, and there will be a peace which you will bring unto it. Each community will be a place where some of you will be called unto to live. You will physically take yourself and your belongings and move unto that place because you wish to be there. There are others of you who will stay in the location where you are now, doing the work where you are needed now. But you will travel to community from time to time to offer your services there. Many of what you would see as a general population will come unto the various communities and spend some time, either a weekend or a week or a month, whatever is appropriate, in being upon the grounds and healing. It will be as a sanctuary amidst and yet apart from the world. Each community will be a place of great music, both physical music and inner music. There will be a vibrational music, healing music, which will all be a remembrance for others of the tones and frequencies which they are. Those of you who are remembering the healing properties of colors will find yourself again offering healing unto your brothers and sisters through the medium of colors. Ones will remember their wholeness, healing, by actually being within the frequency of light of different colors. A multitude of healing approaches will be available through various physical modalities, nutritional belief systems, and the holding of mind and spirit through emotional integration. There will be many methods of healing, but the greatest of all is the joy which will be felt upon that land because of the freedom of expression. It will no longer be necessary to acquiesce to the constrictions of the world, dying because of adherence to the letter of the law, but rather living in the spirit of who you are. You will be out among nature, and if one wishes to call under the treetops, one will call. If one wishes to whisper under the birds, one will whisper under the birds. There will be much attunement with nature. What you have been feeling at a subtle level as visions will manifest in the fullness of time. It will come to be the perfect vision and expression of who you are, and you will know the joy and fulfillment of work in which your heart and soul come alive. For yes, there will be physical work to be done. There will be the sweat of the brow at times. There will be the creativity of networking, as you call it, and working within and beyond the paperwork of agencies. The creative, holy child will come fully into play. The seeds have been planted, and the process is well underway. It is a process of the heart which knows not the timetable of the world and cannot be diverted from its eventual unfoldment. There need not be many who will start a community, but you will be surprised, for there are others who are also called unto the vision of community. Ones, brothers and sisters, who may not have met yet in physical form, but you will be meeting. They are being called, as it were, to the family picnic, the great reunion, and they will be coming within your presence and time. The physical structures which you will be putting upon the land and into the land will be in harmony with Mother Earth. Some of you have expressed a reluctance to use wood in the building of the structures, indicating a sorrow surrounding the killing of trees. This issue brings into clarity the whole meaning of community, and you witness how you are your own teacher. There are certain products, as you would see, which are provided for your use if the use is done with honor and respect. A tree does not know death. It does not look at itself and know that at age 45 or whatever it plans to die. It does not know the meaning of death. It knows only energy and form. It is not as identified with and focused upon specific form as you are. 
The tree expresses as its form until there is a change in form. The tree is one with you, and you can be in communication with it. And you have need of what the tree has to offer, one will go out into the tree and ask it, and the tree will provide. Then, as you see the tree to be expressing in other forms, the wood being used to make other forms, honor the life energy of that tree in every day. Feel your oneness with it, revere it, honor it as an expression of infinite life in physicality. It is the same with what you call the synthetic. Consider that word, building material. You are the one who calls forth everything you behold and everything, down to the smallest unit of physicality is energy, life energy and form. Build your structures in conscious awareness of the oneness of all life with respect and with honor in communion. Community is all about oneness. As I and my Father are one, you and my Father are one, you and your Father are one, we are one, and we are one with our Holy Mother, the earth, working in union, which is very necessary when one wants to establish a community. Not only with the brothers and sisters at the heart level, but also in communion with the land and what is growing upon the land. It is a great opportunity, a process of outpicturing oneness. Know you that it is not necessary that there be a geographical location to which you retreat in order to be a community. For as you commune with your brothers and sisters in the family which you are, you are aware of the community which you are. Community happens each time you allow yourself to be in communion with yourself, individualized as your brothers and sisters. Community happens each time the desire of the heart is to be of service, and you place oneness above singularity. Community happens each time you reconnect with the family of our Father and enjoy the reunion. In the days to come you will behold and be part of many communities of the heart, each one perhaps with a seemingly different focus of service yet all in communion as the heart of the Holy Child, expressing and experiencing the awakening. If you have had a vision of community, knowing that you do not have to wait until the physical structure of dwellings, of healing centers, of educational faculties are erected, or that you must take yourself apart into a remote area before you can experience the community of your family, look about you. Whoever stands before you is your family. And as you allow the constrictions of habitual boundaries to be dissolved, you will experience communion with your brother. This is the true community. 